I told him, Angie, you love them the same. You just love Hannah more. There's a uh, wonderful atmosphere that God's got here tonight. From the witness of the testimonies to the songs that sang to the actions and what what you give out here tonight. And we're we're thankful for your obedience and for the presence of God, for the anointing of God. Uh, glad to have our wife with us tonight. And yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, things that she speaks about that she looks is, is big, you know. Uh, I'm on the other side and I look at it, they're small. Yeah. Ne- nevertheless, you can't live up for them. I don't care if it's your family, your friend, or your enemy. That's right. Uh, you you can only convey it to them. Amen? Amen. Praise yeah. God. Uh, but anyway, uh, got your Bibles? We want to turn over into the uh, book of Genesis, the first thing. I find out where I'm at. Amen. Praise God. Genesis 22. And I, 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 I've been praying to God. You know, we, we, we like good spiritual services. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And, and uh, we like for the spirit to come up on and come within and re- really move us. Uh, uh, but uh, you you may not realize it, but there's sometimes it, 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 it's just not the spirit. It's just Jesus himself. And uh, we we was talking to the Lord about many things, as, as my wife said, that... that uh, uh, really come against, I guess you'd say, uh, in an oppositional way. And uh, my phone is uh, rung off. Uh, and and so is the uh, texting and messages to me. Uh, uh, people that had got victory over things, and uh, praise God, it seems like the devil yeah. found another way to come, come at them and, right. and trying to bring them down, amen? But praise God. Aren't you glad God's for you tonight? Amen. 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 Ain't no weapon for him going to do you any harm. Uh, uh, praise God. It, it's good to know that God's on our side and, right. and, and we yeah. chose to, to follow him. But anyway, here it is that Abraham had chose to follow Jesus. And uh, it comes down to the place, glory to God. God had, God had told him of all the blessings that, that was going to be bestowed up on him and how great his name was going to be. And he had another place for him. How many know God's got another place yeah, for him? Yeah, God? Yeah. Amen. And praise God, he he just struck out and, and left everything behind. Got his wife and got his nephew and got all his belongings. And man, he headed that way. And all of a sudden, glory to God, as you go through the story of, of, of Abraham, you find out that he didn't have an heir. And he was going to give everything to his boy, but it wouldn't work that way. That's out of order. And how many know God's got an order the way that yeah, things yeah, go? Yeah, Amen. And praise God, we can't get it out of order. God's God still yeah. fought. Amen. And Jesus is still the Son, and the Holy Ghost is still the Spirit. We're the church tonight. Amen. But praise God, here it is. Uh, uh, God's uh, requiring or, or asking something of, of Abraham, and, and God's going to ask some things of us. How many knows that? Amen. And it was a hard thing. It was a test for Abraham. Uh, it was a trying to see where he is. Uh, I believe God's wanting to know where the church is tonight. Amen. He wants to know where you are as a family. Uh, amen. Uh, he wants you to know where you are in. in in, in your relationship with him and praise God so he, he brings Abraham and he says in uh, verses 1 and it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham or in other words tried Abraham and said unto him Abraham and he said behold here am I yeah. and he said take now thy son thy only son Isaac whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee. Wow. Amen. Praise God. Now, I, I, I want to go over there and, and, and uh, skip out on a little bit, amen, and read verses 13. And it said, And, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him, a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And I'm, I'm going to stop there because i got some reading to do. Amen. Let's go over into uh, uh, Second Kings. Glory to God. Second Kings. 
Now, if you can figure that out, you're doing good because I, I, I was walking with the Lord and talking to him all day and last night and praise God. I said, Lord, where, 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 where are we going with this? Amen. Praise God. But uh, how many know God's way higher than our way? Yes, and sometimes he just don't drop it in our lap or put it in our heart or our spirit. Amen. It's for, for the exact. And so here it is. I'm here tonight and, and I'm saying, Lord, now's the time for the exact. <laughs> Amen. Don't yeah. know what to say. So you feel my mouth. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. But it says in, in chapter five of the book of, of second Kings. Uh, now, Naaman, a captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master. And honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. And he was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. Now verses 14 in that same chapter says, Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And verse 15 Simply says this, and we'll not read it all. And he returned to the man of God. And we'll stop there. We're going to go right into the book of Luke. Oh, there's a place, buddy. Yes, I am. <laughs> As a wind lists. Huh? Just letting you know I didn't get it out of the book. So, nope. Amen. Praise God. So, so uh, I, I, I see. For, I want to go uh, uh, chapter 1, verses 39. Book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 39. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into the city of Judea and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Amen. Now, I, uh, I want to go over into the book of John. Chapter 19. Lord's really, really working on me here lately. I, I've not read this much uh, in a message for uh, since I started. <laughs> good. Thank you, Lord. So chapter 19, verses 25. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, and Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own house. Just stand, honoring God's word, and just drop your heads and just just be quiet and just feel the presence of the Lord come in this place. Hmm, man, I I I I breathe him. I, I just feel him all over this house. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You can turn around, and shake hands with somebody, and tell them you love them. Well, usually are. Yeah, <laughs> really? I tolerate it. Man, that's good. <laughs> no, that 
Well, I thought we were just going to turn around, but I guess we're going to move a little bit. Nobody's good with instructions. You got to take Simon Says first. They don't listen. JB said. Okay. Hey, myself. So you can be seated whenever you can. One thing we want to do, we want to keep God's presence. We want that anointing up on the service tonight. I want to stand in God's favor and under his blanket of blessings. I want to find the goodness of the Lord among us tonight in our fellowship. Absolutely. Praise God. I, I I was thinking as I was reading all of this, and I got I got to bring what what the Lord wants me to bring, and and I sang it about my song that that uh, brothers Evan uh, uh, sang sang there. Holy God, hey, Amen. I come too far to go back now. Hey, Amen. And glory to God, that was dwelling on me, and and praise the Lord as as God began to speak to me about these verses here and and going over there. Hey, Amen. I, I I'm going to have to say. I, I, I want to preach just a little bit of, of, of going back to the paths of feeling good. Amen. Praise God. You know, there ain't nothing like feeling good. That's right. Huh? Glory to God. I, I mean, it don't take much of a bug just to Amen. mess your day up. Amen. But glory to God to get a place of where you feel good. Amen. How many feels good tonight? That's Amen. Right. You know why? Because you're in the house of the Lord. Yep. You're in the presence yep. of God. Right. You're among people that loves you, been a praying right. for you. Glory to God. And I tell you, you got more for you than you have against you yes. tonight. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. But I thought, glory to God, here we are at a time that many I'm talking about ministers. I'm talking about apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. I'm talking about big churches, little churches out of every denomination. Amen. People is rolling over. They're giving up. Amen. They're throwing in the towel. They're just quitting. Glory to God. They've lost all hope. Their faith is diminished. And glory to God, they're just whooped individuals. If there is ever a time... That we need to stir up an ingredient that'll lift the church, that'll make the redeemed stand up, that'll get your hands in the air, that'll get a shout in your voice, that'll get you moving. We need it tonight. Huh? Glory to God. I mean, uh, folks, uh, uh, anymore, the, the church looks like a hospital. Uh, yeah. They so much sickness, uh, and they so much pain and agony. Uh, they so much hurt within it. Glory to God. Uh, oh, I believe in healing. Uh, I believe in miracle. Uh, I believe we serve the great physician. Uh, amen. The I am of I am. Uh, I believe that he can heal. Uh, I believe he can deliver. Uh, but praise God, uh, I want you to know where we're at. Uh, it's bleak looking. Uh, it's dark. It's gloomy. Praise God. I want you to know when you go when you go by and I say on the Zeb and them over there Sunday, uh, we come around uh, Route 5 uh, uh, going to church and we passed 10 churches. Uh, didn't see a car at a church uh, until we come to the next to the last church. Uh, and there's only three cars uh, until you got to our church. Uh, thank God for the number that we had. Uh, that people was hungry. People were thirsty. People believed that God was going to answer and solve and meet the need. That they, they wanted to be in church. They wanted to fellowship. They wanted to love. They wanted to encourage. They wanted to inspire. We need to come here loving our brother, loving our sister, lending a shoulder, giving a helping hand, and speaking a kind word. Yeah. Why? Because ain't none of us exempt. Huh? Glory to God. Amen. If the devil would try Jesus, he'll try you. Amen. But here we are, glory to God. And, and the Lord, give me something that I'll be a pivoting off of for, for the whole year, he told me. Amen. Everybody knows what kind of year that we're in. Amen. Not only because of the weather, not only because of the politics, but by the corruption and the evil. Amen. By the division that is among not only in the United States, but among the world. Glory to God. There is a power out there that's wanting to seat itself above every other power. I'm not talking Russia. I'm not talking China. I'm not talking North Korea. They 
don't have it in them. Amen. They don't have enough mustard to put on the bread. But there is an enemy that's lurking there that's going to rise up. And he's called an antichrist. And he's going to oppose. And he's going to get aggressive. And he's going to begin to try it. Amen. We're in some dry places. We're in some hard times. We need something, glory to God, to lift, to motivate, to Amen. encourage us. Oh, I want you to know, I'd give anything. Yeah. Amen. To feel good. Yeah. Right, you know how many people, uh, glory to God, is home tonight that, that probably desired to be here, but they wasn't feeling good. Uh, amen. Do you know how many people, uh, uh, glory to God, uh, is out there on the streets, uh, amen, that, that would love to have the opportunity, as she said, or the chance you got, uh, but they just don't feel good. Uh, they're hungry within their belly. Uh, amen. They're without clothes. Uh, they're without shelter. Do you know how many uh, is in the hospital tonight uh, would love to be where you're at, uh, to have that feeling? to have that feel good feeling amen praise God to have that touch of Jesus to know that by his stripes he's healed ain't nothing that you have need of that God wants to find you're in the storehouse of the Lord all you gotta do is ask and God will make you feel good glory to God I said if I stay so it would be for your sake but I get beside myself a ton to God you don't go very many places people get beside themselves anymore Huh? Amen. Because they don't feel good. Let's just get real. The flesh is weak, but the spirit's always weak. Amen. Glory to God. And I want you to know, along with flesh and that weakness, comes infirmities and comes disease and afflictions. And there comes, glory to God, the works of the flesh that'll bind you up and bound you, that'll captivate you, that'll enslave you. But glory to God, Jesus come to set us free. And whom the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I love America. I love the red, white, and blue. I love God. I love to be with His best. I love being free. It makes me feel good. I don't want no dictator over me. Mm. I don't know rule of thumb tell me when, where, how, what that you was quoting a while ago. Amen. I want to know that I'm equal with everybody. Amen. That the Lord blesses my going out and coming in, laying down and rising up. God's with me. How many know that God's with me? Amen. So I started uh, looking at this and seeing all the negativity out there, glory to God, and all the opposition, all, all the trying that, that is going on. And praise God, I can go to our own church. I can come here and, and, and used to sit here and used to sit here and used to sit here. But praise be to God, things begin to come against. Things begin to pile up. Things begin to burden. Things begin to try. Amen. And their faith just wasn't there. And they just didn't feel it. Amen. I want you to know, friends, it ain't only when the Spirit moves. It ain't only when the Spirit's within. It's when the love of God reigns. Amen. I want you to know the Spirit wasn't in the man, and the Spirit wasn't in the quail, and the Spirit wasn't in the rock. But Jesus was. Can you hear what I'm saying? When heaven's gone, when earth's gone, when the elements melt, Jesus will be here. Come on now. Yeah. So I started looking and seeing the key in each one of these scriptures, and the key was. Going back to a path that makes me feel good. Amen. Glory to God. The, the thing of it was, I started to think them back. And I don't know why, it's just natural of us, I guess, to go back to our childhood. Amen. Ain't nothing like being with mommy and daddy, uh, growing up. Glory to God. Somebody that provides and protects uh, and cares for you. Glory to God. And you don't realize it till it's gone, uh, till it's over with. Uh, amen. But at that time, uh, it's the best time of one's life. Uh, and praise God, I can I can remember going back uh, in mind and in heart. Uh, amen. I walk with the Lord. Uh, at the walk with the Lord, uh, I go back to some special times uh, and special places uh, and special moments in my life. We all got a place like that. Uh, right. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. And, and here it was. Uh, amen. Uh, it goes right back to my grandfather's farm. Uh, and at grandfather's farm, uh, uh, there was a time that we called Blackberry time. Uh, amen. And everybody went to pick Blackberry. And glory to God, the thing of it was, I don't even like blackberries. But praise be to God Almighty. 
years a year it was. It was an invitation given by my grandpa, an invitation given by my daddy, and just for me, amen, to be with them in their presence, among them, to be with family. But glory to God, I wanted to go. It was exciting. It was thrilling. I want you to know I didn't have to. It wasn't a must. It wasn't something with me. I'm here tonight because I want to be. It's exciting. It's a thrill. It makes me feel good to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, it didn't matter. Glory to God. As soon, soon as I heard that we're going blackberry picking. Man, I, I, I was prepared. I was getting ready. How many know we're getting ready to go to hell? Hey, it's time ready. to prepare. Yes, it's time are. to get ready. It's a thrill. It's an excitement. It's a joy. It's a feel good to me to know when I close my eyes in the last breath and I'm put in the grave. It ain't over. It's only begun. Come on, man. Okay, well. You see, Abraham started out here. And God was a trying. God's going to know where your heart is before the night's so. He told Abraham to take his son, take him top of the mountain and sacrifice him. Lay him on the altar. Abraham done that. Huh? His only son. The son that he loved. Amen. But he took two men out of his camp with him, parked them down on the bottom of the hill. And he said, hey, you all stay here and watch over the horses and stuff. Me and the son's going up there, but, but we're coming again. Amen. We'll come again. Right. We'll be back here. Right. Glory said. to God. Yep. I want you to know, folks, you might, you might as well know there's some places that we're going to have to go back to. There's some places we're going to get founded on. There's some places that's going to be special. There's some places that are exciting that I'm not ready to give up. I'm not ready to let loose of. I love my daddy. He ain't present, but he's with the Lord. Can you hear what I'm saying? One of these days we'll reunion, but praise God right now, I'm taking thought of mind and heart, the thrill and excitement, and the joy of being with you. Amen. Uh, you can't see God. You can't see Jesus. You can't see the Holy Ghost. But man, there's a joy being with him. Amen. There's a joy being with him. Amen. Glory to God. Abraham started up that hill and Isaac turned around and looked at him. He said, hey, I see the wood yeah. and I see the knife and you got the fire. Where's the sacrifice? You don't need to worry about that. God will provide. Right. Huh? Man, I like that. No wavering, no doubt. Amen. Going up there, positive glory to God. Done told the men. Amen. We'll be back. Me and my son, we will be back. And here it is. He comes up there. He, he builds the altar. Lays him down on the altar. Amen. He's got the fire. He's got the knife. He's ready to gouge. And an angel shows up. God's never late. He's always on time. He knows what you're going through. He knows where you're at. Praise be to God. Almighty, he gonna meet you right there on the road to Damascus. I don't care how low down the cutthroat, I don't care what you've done. Saul, you can become Paul, and you can become a Christian. You can be saved, you can be forgiven, you can have your name written down, you can lift out. Come on, church. Angel Holler. Oh, Abraham, don't you do your son no harm. God knows that you love him now. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Right. Yeah. Does God know you love him? Absolutely. He said he knows you love and you yep. fear him. Amen. Abraham about to scratch his head. Yeah. You know what it said? He looked behind him. Sometimes we need to look behind. God has done great and wonderful, powerful things in our life as we yeah. traveled this journey. And praise God, he looked around behind him. He found the need that he had. But sometimes we need to go back to the path of feeling good. We need to go back in our childhood. We need to go back in our experience. When we met him on, on February the 1st, 2009, sometimes we need to go back right to the bottom of the cross where the God first called you 
your name where he washed you and he cleansed you and he wrote your name down in glory when he called you son or daughter for the first time. Ain't nothing like what I got said. Ain't no comparison. Baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, laying on Ain't nothing compared. Passing out devils. He said, you can cast out all you want. They can be subject to you, but there ain't no greater rejoicing than to know your name's written in a Amen. Book of life. Amen. Talking about going back to a path of feeling good. You see, we we hear tongues and interpretation tongues and prophecies and laying on of hands. How come people ain't feeling good? Huh? Why are they so sad and, and low down? Why are they so weak? And how, why are they going through what they're going? We got to get some feel good back in the church. Glory to God. Everybody be wanting to come here if, if they know God can deliver, if God can heal, if God can mend. Amen. Everybody be coming here if God knows, if they know God can take care of unclean, if He can take care of those that they think they can't take care of, that He can work the impossible and do them right. That's the kind of God I serve. Amen. But I thought, now, you know, walking back there with Grandpa and Dad, and I could see us all up there in the lot, amen, because they, they, they took count. That, that was wisdom. They took count how many they was of in case somebody get lost. And, and she said, not my will that any perish. Yeah. Amen. And God said, I give my only begotten son whosoever lives in him should not perish but find everlasting life. Amen. Grandpa wanted to know everybody got to the very field. Amen. Everybody got a little taste of what was on the vine. Amen. I'm not stingy. I'm not tight. I want everybody to feel good here tonight. I want your hands up and a smile on your face. I want them to be joy and feel and full of glory. I want to brag on God. I want to lift Jesus. Hey, I right. want to serve the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Glory to God. I said, what, what, what worth that? Uh, man, I'm getting ready to cross over to 70. That's all you promised me. He ain't done yet, baby. No, not He's yet. still working on me. Yeah. Amen. As long as there's purpose right. and reason, Amen. Yeah. we'll be here. That's right, buddy. So, here it was. Y'all, I don't know what y'all call them out here, but I call it the poke. We, we, we go to the uh, grocery store up there, the little general store, whatever. They, they give us a bag or a poke, put a candy in. And, 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 and grandma and them, they got a lot of pokes. And they bring them in there and fold them up. And when we get ready to go berry picking, the only thing was, uh, them berries would mash in there and dampen your poke. Yeah. And many times I thought I had something. And I didn't have it. Yeah. And I thank God now that there's a lot of people, a man that sits in the church, they think they got something. But they, but they don't have it. Right. And praise Amen. God, word of time that we need the real thing. Amen. We need to contain yeah. what God has given us. Let's not let it leak through, Amen. fall through the cracks. Yeah. Let's hold right. the spirit. Let's hold the anointing. Let's hold God in this house. Amen. Let's lift Amen. Jesus. Let's not one another. Let's feel good once again yeah. in the house of God. Amen. So once we got to organize, Grandpa always knew better. You don't want them old pokes and them bikes. Throw them over here and I'll make I'll make a, a far starter out of them. Yeah. Uh, oh. You see, we get the one place we want to stay there. We're still carrying pokes when Grandpa was going to give us pails. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Woo. A little bit heavier. You could put a lot more in it, though. Are you hearing me? And I think right now, a lot, of, a lot of people is being tried to God and their, their pails are getting a little heavy. You know why it's getting heavy? You ain't giving nothing out and nothing going out. There's nothing coming in. You get so full, that's where you're going to stay. But glory to God, Peter said, such as I have in the name of Jesus, I'm going to give to you. That glory to God is not drawing out. God's going to give me new. I don't want nothing stagnant. I don't want nothing stale. I want the freshness of God to come down into the church and make us feel good. Uh, Praise God. I mean, I 
I sympathize. I pray. I love her. She's my mate. I don't, I don't know. She tried on every hand. It's been one thing after another, huh? Since we got together. One thing after another. But you know, sometimes he'll look where he can come in. I'm not going to call her weak by no means. I know she loves God. But the weaker vessel, he'll look to come through. Amen. Just like she's talking about her children. He'll look at the weaker vessel, glory to God, to come through. And praise the Lord. This is the time. Maybe we think we got it. Maybe we feel like the little lamps that was there roaring at the old bridge. But behind it, glory to God, was the king of kings. Amen. The great I am. Jesus himself. It's not I, but it's he that liveth in me. And some other praise him. Going back to the path of feeling good. Ain't nobody in the hospital tonight, no matter what the procedure, just laying there is sitting. Huh? Brag on your doctors, brag on the utensils, brag on the remedies you want to. I'm going to brag on Jesus. Uh, and glory to God, if I can go into a hospital like me and Brad did the other day with the little lady, uh, what what was her name, Marilyn uh, uh, Heron? Uh, Marilyn Heron, and, and they give her 48 hours to live. Amen. They thought she was saved. They didn't know she was saved. Amen. And everything was kind of going on and carrying on there. Glory to God. And people was a crying and praise the Lord. She'd been a gibber and a jabbering, but nothing, nothing uh, 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 that was understanding coming out of her mouth. And praise God all of a sudden. Amen. And me and Brad was there. I said, Lord, when do you want me to speak to her? And a silence come. I told Brad, move over. I got, I got to get to her now. Yeah, that's right, buddy. I, I, Amen. I went over and grabbed that yep. little frail, weakening hand yep. that wasn't feeling good. Yep. She wasn't feeling good. Yep. I started right. putting a prayer up. I started reaching into heaven and knocking on the door. Yep. I said, Lord, if you can send some feel good, yep. if you can yep. send some joy, if you can bring her some peace, if you'll just bring me a word of confirmation that she's saved. And I asked her, I said, are you saved? Are you ready to go? And glory to God, not a word out of her mouth. Amen. Everybody was a listening. Everybody's looking to see her mouth come open. Nobody seen that warm, gentle touch that she squeezed yeah. my hand with. Can you see what I'm saying? It ain't always in a voice. It ain't always something you can see. Sometimes it's my feelings. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. I was at peace. I knew I could leave the room. Amen. But she's on her way towards heaven. Amen. I just asked Brad about her. She's still alive. Yeah. 48 hours is up. She's still alive. Nobody knows but God. That's right. Nobody yeah. knows but God. That's right. Amen. So I said, you know, you get you get out there. It did, it didn't matter how we went. As long as I was with dad and grandpa, yeah. huh? man, I, I, I was everything to me. As long as I'm in the presence of God and angels are bowed and the Holy Ghost are moving, man, I'm all right. It don't matter what name's over it. It don't matter who's in the audience. Praise God. I don't care if you're saved or unsaved, but glory to God when I'm in the presence of the Lord. Ain't nothing going to make me feel bad. I feel good, 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 good. I feel good. Come on, somebody. You know that song. I've seen it again. We used to sing out in that Holy Ghost full gospel church down at Queen Show. Man, you get the, I feel good, good, good. I feel good. Hey, Amen. They rocked the church. They rocked the church. Sometimes dad would take me by the hand. Come on, son. He'd say, come on. He'd say, come on, son. And sometimes I'm not going to do it. He's quite fat. <laughs> but he'd take me and put me on his shoulders. <laughs> Sit down, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> he, he'd put me on his shoulders. Huh? So, whether in hand or whether being carried or whether sometimes I wasn't with the program, I got distracted. <laughs> Amen. Grandpa and, and dad and them didn't slow down. They, they had one track mind. They, they was headed to the Blackberry Path. 
Man, I, I'm looking over here. here here's an odd shaped rock. <laughs> Man, there's a stick. It looks like it make a good gun. Yeah. Lord, they got the next thing I, I look up, they're going. Help! Just right ahead of me. Huh? Lord to God, you see, you see the thing of it was. All I needed to do was hear the voice. And it made me feel good. It gave me security. It brought assurance with me. I'm on the right track. I'm headed in the right direction. Amen. All you need to do is hear the voice. Feel the presence. No, you're with God tonight. I believe we're on track. I believe we're on time. I believe we're gonna reach where we never show. The clouds. But going on that path, there's a lot of things could happen. I learned it quick. The yellow jacket nest out there. Huh? The yellow jacket nest meant that somebody had to grab me or, or, a, or a hornet's nest or bumblebees flying around working the flowers. I got some I'm allergic. Somebody had to do a 911. Dad was always just a step away. God's always just a prayer away. Yes, you know, he man. is. Yes, he is. Why? Dad didn't want me down and out and feeling bad and terrible. He didn't want me to go, uh, amen, out of this life that way. He wanted me to feel good. Amen. God wants you to feel good. Absolutely. He does. Yep. There were snakes out there. And and, and sharp rocks, and, and glory to God, we had to go through pop water. But you see, that was the exciting part of it. I never thought about the pop water because we had to go to the chicken house and hog pen, and we had to go through the, the Jersey cow where it melted, and we, we had to go through the cattle and the, and the horses, and he had to, he had hay rakes, and, and he had wagons, and, and he had buggies there. And I just loved looking at them things. Uh, hey man, I admired them. Uh, praise God, it made my trip very enjoyable. Uh, I want you to look around here. Uh, God's got wonderful things. Yeah, you amen. need to look upon it. There's a beauty that God's taken us. Yeah. It may find pleasure. Delight yourself in the Lord tonight. Yeah. It'll make you feel good. Yeah. Made it through the Bob War with just ripped pants and a toy shirt. <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're going through, but it ain't that bad. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Dad didn't take me back to get an arm on patch or a stitch in my shirt. Come on, boy. Told you to watch that fence. How many things has God told you to watch? Amen. But you still went in harm's way. Sorry. You didn't aim to. You don't have to aim to. The devil don't like you. He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. He's come to make your life habit. He come to accuse and bring you down, glory to God. See if you didn't get stung. You didn't get tore up in the bob wire. There's always that old sneaky snake out there in the bush. Right. When you know who would walk up on one, remember it well. That booger was long as these chairs here. I said, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm young and little and fast. When I took off, the sucker went around me 90 miles an hour. <laughs> he didn't bother me, but he didn't have to. I could done peep my pants. Fine. I was just tore up. Huh? He was ugly. You're right, buddy. He was mean looking. Yep. He sure didn't make me feel good. Right. Stopped me right in my tracks. Dad! Sometimes we just need to stop, stand still, see the salvation of the Lord, cry out to God, Lord, it's me. Help me. Amen. Dad come down. What's wrong? Uh, that big old black snake went by me. That's all right. What do you mean it's all right? <laughs> he ain't gonna bother you. Look at me like that thing could eat me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Go through there and you'll see one, one, one of these, I call them idiot kids. One, one of them reach down and grab one of them things and curl around his arms and stuff. Look here, Junior. No, I won't look at it. <laughs> Huh? I don't want to look at it. 
You see, that's the thing. I don't want to be discouraged by what you're going through. Yeah. I don't want your negativity. Yeah, uh, praise right. God, I don't want the pain and the agony. You Give it to the Lord. Yeah. I say, give it to the Lord. Yeah. He can handle it. He can take care. You're not robbing me. You're not stealing from me. I feel good. And I'm going out of here feeling good. Oh, come on. Glory. That was the thing about Abraham. He went up feeling good. He come back feeling good. Yeah, he does. Well, I know when I fell over into naming what he was saying. A lot of y'all trying to fool me. You can't fool me. Got the spirit of the sun. Oh, watch now. Yeah. Amen. Oh, name it. He's well thought of. He's the captain of the host of the king of Syria. Mighty man of valor. And God had used him to bring Syria deliverance many times. In so much he overtook Israel. Hmm? The Bible said he was a leper. Everything on the outside. You thought he was feeling good. He was polished and shined up. Amen. He was walking in line, glory to God. He had all the right utensils. I mean, people come to church carrying their Bibles, got their three key suits on, and you think everything's all right, but down on the inside, amen, they're full of dead men's bones. Amen. They're dry, they're empty, they're void, they're broken. They just don't feel good. But God wanting to turn around. God wanting to open up a door. God wanting to send something down from heaven. God wanting to revive. God wanting to restore. God want you to feel good again. Amen. You can't feel good in serving God. I don't know what hope you got. Pretty well covered up. <coughs> and even though he was behind all that armor and all all of that 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 wealth around him and and all the all the uh, 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 people that supported him around him, glory to God. God still found him out. Now they found him out. By some by somebody that, that they never thought was 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 would have any worth to it to God. But she come and told the lady of the house, his wife, and said, Hey, if if if, if the master would know about the prophet down in down in the, uh, Israel there, glory to God, uh, he could go down there and be healed of his life. If you knew that you could stand up right now, uh, lift right. your hands and yield to God, surrender up, uh, and you would feel so good. Uh, you'd yep. kick your heels. Uh, you would Amen. shout. Uh, Amen. You would have something to go on. Your battery would get charged. Uh, your horn would blow. Uh, your light would come on. Uh, if you knew tonight, uh, I can go out of here feeling good. Amen, buddy. Hmm? Well, that's what she was telling. Amen. You see what you started with? Right here, with with dad and grandpa, it don't have to die. Right. Huh? It can go on and on, and and that's why I went back to it. it it's still alive in me. It's as Amen. fresh as it ever was. Huh? Grandpa been grandpa been going oh, oh, almost thirty years, and and glory to God, uh, uh, dad he he been going over twelve, fifteen years, something like that, twenty ten, whatever it is, twenty three or yeah, twenty. Or fourteen years, praise God, and 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 here it is, uh, uh, Amen. They're just as fresh, and it brings joy to me. Yeah. It gives me good a memory, good buddy. feeling, glory to God, yeah. Amen. I was sitting there in the, the easy chair there this evening, and 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 Talina's got Dad's picture over at the plant that me and him worked, and and he's leaning up against the the, uh, the walkway there, and. And he got his picture, and, and I looked at that smile, and I could feel that smile. I could feel that warmth. I could feel that love. Amen. Glory to God. And I was glad to be walking with him once again. Amen. When I look up and I see Jesus smiling, amen. I know he's not, I know he's not here in the flesh, but in his spirit, he is right here tonight. I find pleasure. I find joy. I feel good just to be in the house of the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Naaman went down. Huh? That's what it read. Got mad. These people get mad at me because I, I say you can feel good and they don't feel good. Huh? Yeah. yeah. They're determined to feel bad. Absolutely. Booey on you. I'm gonna throw a bucket of feel good on. <laughs> That's right. 
That's what I'm going to do. Amen. Amen. So, so here it is. He said, hey, it, it's not the two rivers uh, back here in Damascus. Is it not better than that which is down in Israel? Uh, what was it, Abner and, and Harper or something like that? Glory to God. Are, are they not much better? And, and uh, People beneath him. Beneath him had to come up and give him a word of direction yeah, yeah. and encourage. If he would ask you to done any other thing, yeah. Except stand up and hold your hands up and say, I feel good. Yeah. Huh? Would you done it? Yep. Hmm? You come up here and let me anoint you of all. Huh? You, you, you let me pray for you to receive the Holy Ghost, speak in tongues, cast out death, but, but you won't stand up and say, I feel good. Woo! Little Jimmy Brown thing. I feel good. Yes. I feel good, good, good. Come on now. Thank you, Lord. For some reason, they think because I'm in my 60s that, that, that I can't do this stuff. But I want to tell you, that's when it come out, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Lord, that's, man. that's when music was music. That's when you was in beat. I get in a lot of churches and they get me off beat. I just got to quit clapping. <laughs> It's time we get in harmony and unity. It's time we feel good in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Says he dipped seven times. Yeah. And come up clean. Amen. Yes. Huh? You'll dip tonight. Raise them hands. Yeah, that's right. I feel good. Look down in your soul. Yeah. Say, devil, you're a liar. Yeah. Amen. Unless you're whooped. I feel good. That's an amen. amen. I feel good. The Lord's on my side. Amen, buddy. Right on. Right on. I feel good. No, you're sick. I feel good. You got cancer. I feel good. You got tendonitis. I feel good. You got heart trouble. I feel good. You got a headache. I feel good. Come on, church. Amen. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. it's contagious. It'll get on you. I feel good. I feel good. Let the community know it. Let the government know it. Let the president. I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh. I'm not. I'm not old Jr. Samples on hee haw. <laughs> Misery and agony, and despair. I feel good. Amen. I said I feel good. Amen. Amen. I want you to feel good. That's all it was. Little maid didn't complain, murmur. She went just doing her duty, sweeping and dusting and cleaning and. And, and arranging the clothes of, of Naaman's wife. And she was probably singing all the time. Shouting, good. dancing with the broom. <laughs> Praise God. She said, All I want, ma'am, is for Naaman to feel good like I do. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's my right. desire. If I could, I'd go to hospitals and empty it up. Yeah, I'd go to nursing homes and empty it up. I'd gather off the streets. Then I give them a home. Yeah, I go to these hungry places and I fill their baskets. You see, that's kind of Jesus I serve. Yeah, Everywhere right. there was a need, He went. Why? He wanted to make people feel good. That's right. He wanted them to feel right good. On. Right on. Hallelujah! This is good preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, this ain't leftovers that my wife gave me. <laughs> she got one wing broke. When she flies, she goes on top. Now, I can do it that way, but don't you try. Amen. So, we need to go back to the path of feeling good. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Soon as he come up out of the water and clean, you know what he done? He went back to the house of Elijah. Yeah. 
He yep. went back to that house, right where it started. Yep. This man told me if I go down there and dip seven yep. times. Yep. Uh, hey Amen. Matter of fact, he didn't even come to the door. Yeah. He <laughs> said, he said a Timmy Higgins. Yeah. He said a Sam Dorsey. Yeah. Hey Amen. He said a Dave Majeska. Yeah. He said a Brad Stump. Glory to God. Why couldn't he at least come to the door? It don't matter. I feel good. I feel good. I don't need a special preacher. I don't need a special singer. All I need is Jesus. I feel good. Last thing was Mary. And as soon as God was done with Elizabeth, I think God's still working on some people. In a good way. The same situation that Mary was going to be found, Elizabeth was in. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And the same situation we see those without is the same situation we're going to be sitting in. Elizabeth needed nothing less than a miracle. Mary needed nothing less than a miracle. It wasn't to say they wasn't feeling all right where they was at. But God said, I'm going to make you feel better. Going to make you feel better. Now, when good goes to better, that's when you get your feet up. That's when you're like, come on. Praise God. Oh, I know that you say, hey, man, you got more than enough. But when God puts the greater in there, and you begin to block your wings, and you begin to move your head. Oh, God. I can hear my mom call me now when we post it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> don't you know you're going on sixty nine? You could have a heart attack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. no. She'd look and say, "I know God's with you." Yeah, right, she yeah. loves getting these services. Absolutely. It lifts her up. She's yep. shut in. She never goes. And she gets every one of them because she subscribed to your uh, whatever it is. Yeah. Amen. All right, I don't know. Laugh at me. That's okay. There's a lot of words these boys bring up. I have no idea. I just stretch my head. Huh? You get you get a bass, the and if and of and ain't. You're getting out of my vocabulary. All right. I love how they laugh with me. Most of the time you're laughing at me. Uh, don't you love them? Yeah. Just because it makes you feel good. Yeah, that's right. uh, amen. So Gabriel come unto Mary and began to give her the good news how that the Holy Ghost was going to overshadow. She was going to bear and conceive and bring forth a son. His name was going to be called Jesus. Man, I, 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 huh? That'd make a dry church out of it. I started to name a few, but I, I held off. Praise God. As this all was taking place, glory to God, it was a place that she would come back to quite often. You know, there was a time that her and Joseph was really feeling good. That miracle was in their hands. Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like having Jesus in your heart. Absolutely. Yes. Huh? Yes. You, you can get all the aftermath. But praise God, getting saved is what it's all about. Amen. Getting clean and getting pure where you can see God, that's what it's all about. Amen. You can muster up all the stuff, but give me the joy of my salvation. Give me that that's going to make me feel good. Amen. I know we like to move of the Spirit, but sometimes I just like to follow Jesus. I just like to pick up my cross. I just feel good. Amen. In his church, just being with him, just hearing my talk. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. They're walking with him. Huh? It can happen to anybody. They felt so good. They were so beside their sin. God had blessed them so greatly. Yeah. Man, we're Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Something come out from the men of God. People was putting down through there what was happening in the church. I thought, I got to answer that. I don't like doing that stuff, but I got to answer. I said, I'll tell you what's missing in the church. It, 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 it's not the nine gifts. Yeah, hmm? right. it, it, it's not the 
uh, uh, the Holy Ghost and in all. But what's missing is Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's Jesus. You see, Jesus is love. Yeah, yeah. And love is God. Yeah, that's right, buddy. And love will never fail us. Yeah, that's right. It's a power to be reckoned with. Yeah, that's right. Amen. He said, you can prophesy. You can speak yeah. in tongues. You can determine. Yeah. You can have all the wisdom and all the knowledge and all the understanding. But if you don't have charity, if you don't have love, you got nothing. The greatest gift of all gifts yeah. is the charity of God. That's right, buddy. Amen. The love of God. Right on. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So they go back to the path that made them feel good. Where'd they go? They went right back to the temple. And I think back 30 some years ago, what's 80 from, oh gee, that would make you fall. That's 40 some years. <laughs> Praise God. Yep, figure it up. 80, 24, 44 years, right? That's older than you are. You can't think that far. But 44 years on a Friday night about 9.15. The greatest thing, the most memorable thing, the joyous time that my life's ever experienced. I met Jesus there. Yeah, that's right. I met him and I go back to that. Absolutely right. It's a path yep. that makes Absolutely. me feel good. Yep, that's right. It's a path that makes me feel it brings such memory and thought. Yep. It brings such pondering in my heart. Glory yep. to God. And I try to regulate of who all was there and what all had went off that night. And uh, just just what kind of service it was. And when I go to that blackberry patch and I see grandpa and I see dad, I see my cousins and aunts and uncles, even friends and neighbors. I mean, they, they had a vineyard over there that covered the whole side of the mountain. Glory to God. And, and and the thing of it was, most of them didn't wait till they got to the house. You could tell it would tell on them. It looked like they rubbing snuff. It was kind of getting off their chins and their jaws. Glory to God. Amen. And, and grandpa would say, how much you got in your bucket? Somebody cheating? <laughs> Are you not picking? He knew what they do. God knows what you do. Right. Oh, yeah. He knows exactly where you're at. All he wants you to do is feel good. That's it. Right? Right he ain't pointing no gun. He ain't ready to push no button. He ain't going to execute nobody. Right. Right. Amen. He just said, I didn't come to destroy. I come to save. I didn't yeah. come to condemn. Yeah. I come to bring you to yeah. life. Glory right. to God. Amen. Amen. He wants you to feel good. Said woman, where is thy cute? That I don't have any. He said, Neither do I condemn you. Go sin no more. Get out of here and feel good. Yeah. Pick up your heat. That's right, buddy. Right. Get out of here and feel good. That's all I want you to do. I want you to leave here feeling good. Right. Feeling good. Right. Right. Somebody feeling good. I was sitting here looking. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I hope everybody on your network heard me. They be feeling good tonight. Amen. Well, you're forgiven. I won't forget it, but you're forgiven. No, I love you, babe. Yeah, that ain't the first phone I heard. Huh? I hear one tonight. And glory to God, maybe you can't hear. But on the other end of it, he's saying, son, yeah. I want you to feel good. Yeah, that's right, you know, buddy. No matter what kind of misery, torment, yeah. agony, anguish right. you're going through. Amen. I want you to feel good. And I love you, Satan. You feel good all the time. Ah. Tim Bell said to pray for him. We'll pray for him. I love him and miss him. But if he is here, he'd mess that hairdo up. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to start following him like that. He's the Lord. I love, I love and respect Brother Tim. Uh, they, ain't been, they ain't been feeling good. I'm saying that to you, Tim. I want you to feel good. Amen. I'm saying it to you, Nessie. Amen. I want you yeah. to feel good. Amen. I send it to all those people who called me today. I want you to feel good. I send the anointing. I speak in the night. I stand on the word. I'm sending you something. That make you feel good. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Mary, 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 is that right? Yeah. Three times. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. 
Three times, Mary, Mary, and Mary. Jesus being crucified. You think the Lord didn't look down on her tears and broken heart? How she was torn and empty and broken? Yes. He knew that he was out of here and she was going to need something in that emptiness and broken. He said, disciple, disciple who? John, John. thy mother. Mm -hmm. And mother, mother. thy son. Yes. You'll not go empty with me. That's right. Amen. You're going to feel good. Yep. Even after I'm gone. That's right. Amen. You're going to feel good. Yep. But you're going to go back to his house. That's right. You're going to go back to his house and you're going to be loved and comforted until you see me again. Yes. Every one of you is going to feel good. Amen, buddy. You're going to find comfort, refuge, and shelter, and fortress. You're going to find every need met until we see him again. Amen. 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 Do you feel good? Amen. Give the Lord your hand. Glory to God. All right.